Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. I am making myself take a break from watching Who the Did I Marry on TikTok. I haven't spent this much time on TikTok like ever, <laughs> so I'm tearing myself away because I have some PR packages that came in, some new launches that I'm really excited about. So there are kind of like three focus products, well four. Um, Basma Beauty sent over their foundation stick, which is not new, but they also sent over their new cream blushes. This is the coolest packaging, I just have to say. So you slide it you push it open like that. It's extremely satisfying. <laughs> Smidge is sleeping in my office and she's snoring really loud. She's sound asleep. So if you hear little kitty snores, that's why it's not me. So anyway, they sent over three shades of these and I'm really excited about those. Freck sent over their new Makeout Club lip liners and I'm so happy to say that my dermatitis has subsided so I can lip swatch things for you today. Also, it's like partly cloudy, the sun's going in and out. I have my lights on. Um, so if you see any change in like warm and cool, that's why. And then I have the new matte lipstick from Merit, highly anticipated. They sent over one shade for me and I picked Antibes. So I'll be trying that on. And then I have the Lawless glosses that I didn't get to swatch because of my perioral dermatitis in the last video. So I am gonna swatch them now. Let's hope I don't spark more <laughs> perioral dermatitis, but I feel like I kind of figured it out. I actually switched to a sulfate or SLS free toothpaste and that's really helped. Unrelated to makeup, I just got the prequel hand cream and foot treatment in the mail the other day. And I just have to say this hand cream is so unique. It's unlike anything else I've ever tried. They call it their hand wrap hand shielding lotion. Helps prevent moisture loss even after hand washing and it's water resistant film former or it has a water resistant film former, lipids, phytosterols, and a lipid and lipid layer enhancers. So you take a little bit of the cream and then you actually, sorry, I have to roll my sleeves up. You actually wanna rub it in between your hands a little bit and you feel the water break. So you know when lotion feels a little bit more wet and then you start to feel it change texture. It becomes almost a little bit like a waxier feeling and then you start to feel it set down. It's the weirdest thing. It turns into this like matte finish. And I think that's what they mean when they talk about the um, water resistant film former. So this is meant to like create a seal so that even when you're washing your hands, you're retaining moisture. It's really cool. I wanted to mention that in case you are someone, especially who works a lot with your hands, it's fragrance free. So it's not going to disturb um, your perfume, or if you work in an office, or you work with patients, you work in the medical field, anything. Um, I just wanted to mention that because it's really so unique and I've really, really been enjoying it. All right, let's get into these foundation sticks. First of all, the packaging is so fun. They're very weighty and it's a magnetic cap and they have these like metallic pink finishes. Basma Beauty is a newish brand. I think they're a couple of years old. Their founder's name is Basma Hamid. This foundation stick is $40 and the best thing about it is the shade range. It comes in 40 shades and the range of undertones as well as depths is really, really impressive. You guys know I'm very picky about stick foundations as someone with combo oily skin because a lot of times stick foundations contain a lot of waxes and oils and butters to help it retain that solid form and then change texture as you're applying it. So we'll see how this goes. I have three shades, 029, 030, and 032. They describe this as a natural finish with buildable to full coverage. So here's what it looks like. This is the shade. 029. I'm just going to twist it up. I do like the way it feels in the hand. I like the square packaging. So the way this shade range works is that the higher the numbers go, the lighter the shades. So 029 is the deepest and this is for medium skin with neutral undertones. Then I have 030, which is a medium with cool undertones. And then I have 032, which is light skin with warm yellow undertones. 
I can see in this range that 030 with cool undertones um, definitely has a pink undertone. So I don't think that's gonna work for me. I honestly feel like I could make either 029 or 032 work for me. I might start with the lighter shade 032. Um, warm with yellow undertones and see how that goes. So they say you can apply this with finger sponge or a brush. I have my refer uh, 17. I find a flat top brush best for stick foundations. So I guess I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna start, oh yeah, that's a really good match actually. I'm just gonna start in the center of the face with not too much product and see what happens. Very spreadable. I like that. I like the amount of glide that this is giving me. Like I don't have to work too hard to get it to spread out. Just add a little bit more. So you can kind of stipple for greater coverage and then you can glide if you want to shear it out more. That's half my face blended out. It looks really skin-like and it looks really smooth. I'm into that. Let me just blend out the rest. I am getting a tiny bit of pilling along my jawline. I applied my skincare this morning, like almost four hours ago now. So it's possible that it's just not getting along with my skincare. I'll have to test it with other things. It's not a lot. But um, because stick foundations oftentimes do have a lot of silicones in them, they can potentially conflict with your um, skincare. That's just the nature of stick foundations. So I'll definitely try it with other things, but it's nothing I can't just like brush away. I have some pigmentation here from a healing cystic spot. So I'm actually gonna use my fingers and I'm really liking the adjustable coverage. Okay, who else is watching who the did I marry on TikTok? We must discuss in the comments because it's just so wild. I think what puzzles me the most, um, I'm almost at the end, by the way. I think what puzzles me the most about Legion, if you've watched, and if you haven't watched, I highly recommend it. It's worth the 50 part series. It's better than a lot of like the Netflix shows that are out there these days. I think what puzzles me most about Legion, I'm just melting this in with my fingers. I kind of like the texture a little bit better. It's giving me more control around like my nose and stuff. What confuses me is that obviously we've seen a lot of like scammer, Tinder swindler, like those types of documentaries. But what confuses me is that it's not evident that Legion is scamming her for material gain. No like real spoilers, but um, it's just so hard to understand what his motivation is beyond just like torturing her. I don't know, it's so wild. I won't talk about it too much just cause I know a lot of people are probably still watching it, but let's discuss in the comments because it's just blowing my mind. This is very unusual for me to say, but I'm liking the way that this is applying with fingers better because it's melting the product into the skin. I actually feel like I want a little bit of liquid concealer, so I'm just gonna use my Fenty concealer, the hydrating one. One thing with stick foundations is I feel like it's hard to get it um, to full, full coverage because of how much you need to apply. Like I don't apply a lot of full coverage foundations anyway, but if I did, I don't know if I'd want it to be a stick foundation, but I do like how um, easy it is to use. And I did like how it concealed around certain spots on my face. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna stop there and I will say that 029 is the shade I would go in with next time, the medium shade. I just feel slightly washed out, um, so I think the medium shade is the best match. One thing I did want to try, and this is actually good because I need to warm up my skin a little bit, is the Glossier Cloud Paint shade in um, Swept. I just wanna see how this works because I used the um, second deepest shade of the four that they sent me in my last Try New Makeup video, and it did. It was very natural. A lot of you guys wanted to see what the shade Swept looks like, this one, which is the third deepest. So I'm gonna go in with that to warm up the skin. So here's what Swept looks like on the back of the hand. It's a lot more neutral than warm. 
The shade that I used last time was Dune and it's a much more golden undertone. This has a much more neutral undertone, but you can see how much it shears out even though it looks pretty deep on the back of my hand at first. So I'm gonna pick it up. Um, I have my two-sided Fit Glow Beauty um, cheek brush. I'm gonna pick it up with the angled side. I think I mentioned in my review last week. Oh yeah, that's a lot more visible, but still sheer. It's almost like a contour shade actually. I mentioned um, in my review of these last week that the pigmentation seems to have been adjusted a lot compared to the Cloud Paint blushes. These feel about like 70 to 75% of the pigmentation of the Cloud Paint blushes. This is definitely on the more neutral side, but I like it. I feel like it's um, not too cool, like it's not ashy but it's not um, an orangey undertone either. But see how it's like almost a sculpting bronzer, like right here. My lips are feeling a little dry. Um, this Aquaphor stick, it's just Aquaphor in stick form, has been saving my life with my perioral dermatitis. I cannot recommend it enough. You can use it like anywhere you want. It's amazing. Okay, let's get into these blushes because they're so fun, they're so cute. I just love the packaging. It's very satisfying. These are $28 and they um, are 0.15 ounces. They sent over three shades. This is peach, this is mauve, and this is fuchsia. These shades are so good. I love the range of undertones. The other three shades are bubblegum pink. It's like a baby pink. Burnt Orange, which I think would look amazing on deep skin tones along with Cherry Red. So it's supposed to be a long wearing, non-sticky, buildable formula. They do recommend you warm the product up with your fingers. Looks like that. This is Peach. Peach Mauve Fuchsia. Let's just try to use as many as we can. I'm gonna start with Peach. Um, I'm gonna just flip over my brush on the round side. Okay, let's see. Pretty, I like that. It's going on really evenly. There is a slight radiance. It's not um, greasy. I was worried about that when I first swatched it, but it actually goes on really thin, especially with a brush. Okay, then I'm gonna take mauve with a finger and just, whoa. That was a lot more pigmented than I thought. I'm just gonna work it towards the back of my cheek. Pretty. Same brush, just to blend it out. Yeah, I think you get a much more pigmented application with fingers. Should I try it? I'm a little scared. I'm just gonna go for it. Let's just do like a tiny bit right on the apples of my cheeks. I obviously would not typically use three of these very different blush shades at once, but um, for the sake of science, we're doing it. Okay, these are really pretty. I am wondering how long lasting they will be because they are on the dewier side, but they're not like sliding around my face. They don't feel greasy. I am gonna powder in the T-zone. I'm just gonna take my Shantikai, um Perfect Blur Finishing Powder and just lightly set the T-zone. I'm feeling like because I had some pilling, the skin is looking a little bit more textured than I would like. So this is the powder I turn to because it really does make the skin look super blurred and smooth and like diffused. Okay, for eyes, I'm feeling something sort of fun and punchy. I have had this palette for a minute, but I don't think I've used it on camera. This is the Espresso Chow Disco palette. It's a quad and it has some really cool shades in here. This is what the swatches look like. So this is that topper, so cool. If you do just like a thin application, it looks silver, but then it has a slight green flash and then the purple, the bronze, and this silver. They almost feel like a creme to powder hybrid. They're super creamy, they're dense to touch, and they swatch so buttery smooth. I think I do want just a bit of a matte bronzer in the crease. This is my Shantikai Serena bronzer. 
just for a bit of sculpting. I'm just gonna take the topper like all over, I think, and just diffuse it. Because it has such a creamy base, it actually really doesn't have any fallout. Blending it like all the way across my entire eye area. Then I'm gonna take a really dense small brush. This is the BK Beauty 209 into the silver. I'm feeling like the Y2K moment. So I'm just going to pack that onto the mobile lid. It's just so creamy and so dense and so, it has so much glide in the formula. This is such an underrated formula. They also have a more like neutrals palette that I have used on my channel before. Um, people don't talk about them, but they're so good. I'm not doing a wing per se. I'm just slightly like slightly winging out the shape towards the end of the eye. And then just a bit of that topper in the inner corner. Here's the eye look. I love it. Um, I don't have a new eyeliner or mascara, so I'm gonna do that off camera and then we're gonna do lips. Just use the Swede Cloud Mascara again. It's seriously so good. It's like one of the best mascaras I've ever tried. Let's finish off with lips. I have the new Freck uh, Makeout Club Lip Liners. These are retractable lip liners. They're $18, great price point. And there are six shades in a variation of nudes for different skin tones at different depths. This is what the pencil looks like. You can get a pretty thin line. I don't think, yeah, there's no sharpener. Here are the swatches. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can see there's a range of different types of tones. So there's brown tones, and then there's the more pink tones, and then there's these two deeper shades at the end. I will say the colors tend to run on the warmer side, except for the pinks. They're matte, they really are quite creamy when you go to put them on, but then they set down pretty quickly and these are not moving. Like I just swatched these in the last minute and I'm not getting anything on my finger. I also have the Lawless Glosses and the Merit Lipstick. So let me hand swatch everything and then we'll lip swatch after that. Here are the three new Lawless Gloss Shades right here. So this light purple one is called Lavender Sorbet. In the middle, I have Nudie. And then at the end, I have Maple Sugar. And then finally, I have the new Merit Lipsticks. These come in the same component as their signature lip lightweight lipsticks but the um, acrylic here, instead of being brown, is this really cool like smoke gray. And the tube itself, again, is gold, and this is what it looks like. This is the shade Antibes. So let me swatch this for you. This comes in eight shades. I only have one, but I can already tell I want more. It's a really soft matte finish. So beautiful. It has the sheerness of the Signature Lightweight lipsticks, but it's like a blurred, diffused matte lip. Just so I can do as many lip combos as possible, maybe I'll pair a lip liner with each lip product. I'm gonna go with the Freck lip liner in shade two with the Lawless Forget the Filler Gloss in Lavender Sorbet. It's a really pretty cool toned pink. And I think you can see how creamy this pencil is. So that's Freck shade number two with Lawless Lavender Sorbet. Lavender Sorbet is kind of washing me out. I feel like I need a little more lip liner to ground the shade. I feel like Lavender Sorbet is a little light for me. I'm dangerously close to having that ring around my lips, but if you have fair skin and you want like a cool toned gloss, I feel like this would look so nice on you. It's just not the best with my undertones. And then I'm gonna take Freck number three with the shade Nudie. If you haven't tried these glosses, they're very thick, but they're like grippy. That's what I like about them. I feel like this is about as milky as I can go in terms of a nude lip, but it's like right there. It's like a neutral, milky nude lip. Then I've got shade five, which is a deeper nude. 
and this is maple sugar. Ooh, so pretty. This is on the more pigmented side. I'm happy to say it's not streaky. Sometimes with a deeper gloss on a lighter skin tone, you can see the streaks, but this is such a thick formula. It creates this like glassy finish over the lips. So I feel like it's actually looking pretty cohesive. I'm gonna go into this lipstick without lip liner first so you can see. This is Merit Antibe. This is such a pretty color. I love it. It's very warm toned, but it has this earthiness to it. It's brown. It has a touch of pink. It's peachy and it's so lightweight on the lips. It truly feels like nothing. It almost feels like a matte balm, but it's super, super thin. So you can get this slightly transparent layer with just one application, or you can layer it up as well. And the thing about a formula like this is that because it is such a diffused matte, you can get a really nice blurred lip line. So it looks more lived in, it looks more natural, a little bit more casual, which is what I feel like Merit Beauty is, but you could also build it up. So let me do that, I'll add another layer. So that's much more opaque, but it's such a good color. I love this color. I feel like it just makes my skin tone really pop. It's playing nicely with the blushes that I used. You could also just take your finger and blur out the lip line for a sort of like cloud effect. Or you could take a lip liner. I'm gonna take shade one. and you can do a more sculpted lip look that way. I'm just so into this lipstick. So here's the final look. I'm actually really happy with the way this makeup turned out. I'm kind of into the mix of like the cool tones with the silver on the eyes, with a warm toned lip. I sort of unintentionally matched the colors that I'm wearing today, I guess. So the Basma foundation stick, actually my skin is looking even better as it's wearing on, which is a really good sign. I actually don't fault the foundation stick for the pilling that I was having before. The moisturizer that I'm wearing today has pilled on me a couple of times with some other makeup products, but I will leave the wear test in a pinned comment below as I always do. Um, I think I can wear this for about eight hours today. Even despite the pilling, I actually really liked the way it applied when I was melting it in with fingers. I'm gonna keep playing with it, but I'm very optimistic about it, especially seeing how natural it looks on the skin and the kind of like natural radiance it's giving me as the day is going on. Very into the swept shade of the Glossier Bronzer. I think I'm gonna use it in conjunction with the shade Dune. Dune for a warmer bronzer and then swept for a more neutral bronzer. These blushes I also am liking as they're wearing into the skin too. I'm kind of surprised because they felt dewy to touch, but I feel like the shade mauve is going to be my cool toned pinky shade. And then peach is going to be my like everyday shade. And I actually really did like fuchsia for a pop of color, which is this one. I know it looks really intimidating, but it shears out to such a pretty cool toned pink. Plus I feel like the pigmentation on these along with the rich tones that are also in this line makes this really good for a variety of skin tones and depths. For the eyeshadow palette, I actually hadn't created this look before. I've been meaning to do like a silver look, but I'm really into it. I'm really into the topper. I like this for like a cool toned Y2K sort of look. Um, again, I love this formula, so that's not a surprise. I think these freck shades are super cute. I mean, obviously there's a range of undertones. I know some people might want cooler tones in this, so maybe they keep adding to it, but the price point is cute. The shades are cute. I do typically prefer a pencil liner for longevity, and I also just find that they last longer. Sometimes I wonder with retractable liners, like in terms of the life lifespan of the product, if they last as long because they have more exposure to air, but I'm gonna keep using them and I really like all of the tones in here. Of the new gloss shades, I definitely like Nudie for a milky nude and then Maple Sugar for a deep warm toned brown. 
um, law, uh, la not lawless. This is the brand, the lawless lavender sorbet. I'm going to pass on because it was just not my shade, but it is cute. It's just not, doesn't go with my skin tone. And the thing that I'm most excited about is not surprising. I've been using it for the past week since they sent it over. It's the Merit lipstick. And I love this shade. I want all of the shades. I think there are some really beautiful pinks, nudes for different skin tones. There are some gorgeous red shades as well. The formula is just so comfortable and true to the name, it is lightweight, but it's like a comfortable matte. It doesn't feel like I have anything on. It actually even feels sort of hydrating. I'm definitely gonna need more shades. So like I mentioned, I'm gonna do about an eight hour wear test. As always, I leave my reviews at the end of the day in a pinned comment below. So look out for that as well as links, discount codes, everything that I mentioned. If it's your first time here, I would love for you to subscribe. If you have any questions for me, definitely leave them in the comments below and I'll meet you there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.